This is our ahu. Everybody, ahu. Ahu! It's like an altar or a shrine. It can be as small as one rock versus a little shrine looking like this. We built this ahu with the intention to fix this fish pond and to make it feed again. We teach people to malama ahu, wherever you see them around, is to not disrespect it by sitting on it. It's also a place where we create as our pico. So when we do any of our opening circles, we start here. And that is to help everybody else get into the same mind frame as us in pushing forward of the restoration of this place. Is the river that wide when you guys are coming up? No. Not even close, right? Earlier in the older pictures, this river was super wide. And with the introduction of mangrove and the building of the rock wall outside and the harbor kind of really slowed water down to amplify the, the mangrove. Mangrove was introduced to Hawaii a little bit over 100 years ago during the plantation period. At that time, people working in sugarcane was from Florida. So they brought this mangrove, red mangrove, which comes from Florida and spread the seedlings. The really negative part I started doing was taking over our streams and ditches and fish ponds especially because most of the world is trying to save mangrove to kind of compensate over global warming and sea level rise but in Hawaii building land into the fish pond which is actually closing up our fish pond clogging the waterways and to doing the total opposite effect. At the fish pond it's about 39 acres within the fish pond at the time when all the mangrove was up and you could see the water that was left over within the pond was about 20 acres left. What is the name of the fish pond? Alecoco! Right now we're at Alecoco Fish Pond. They'd, you'll see different names. The oldest written literature we could see with the name Alecoco back in the 1860s. Right now you'll see around Alecoco, but um, just because of the research, we chose to say Alecoco, but we're not saying one is right or wrong over the other. They both when translated is really close. Ala meaning the trail and ale meaning the rippling and koko it depends on the stories that you hear but they refer to as the blood or that reddish color which could also resemble the limu. You'll hear those two words and then you also hear menehune fish pond which menehune fish pond was more of a nickname that the people started using because of the story of the Menehune building the fish pond. Usually when we're walking up to this place, the Makaha, we like to walk quietly so that we can kilo and be able to come upon whatever life is inside the Makaha. And sometimes when you guys are walking, you guys are like, ah, whacking this place and making loud noise. But by the time we reach here, all oh, whatever was inside here is gonna swim away. Then you guys come and look and you're like, oh, there's nothing here. But you guys didn't realize how much noise you guys was making before we got here, so. Next time you guys go to certain places, especially where there's water, like go up slowly and see first. Do you guys know what is kilo? Kilo is when we sit down, or you could be working too, but it's when you observe, you observe everything that's going on the best you can. Maybe in the water, out of the water, plants, animals, wind, rain, yourselves. Yeah. It's being just super observant of what's going on and being able to record that to find the pattern of what's happening around you. The area we're at is called the Makaha. Uh, it's really important to fish ponds. It's where the circulation happens and also where we recruit fish and catch fish. Makaha are specifically placed in fish ponds in order to help regulate how much water can come in and out and to be able to you know, amplify the food resource within the pond. Throughout the day, we have about four tides, the high, low, high, low, and that for over here representing makaha. We broke down the word, maka is your eyes, or also can be any space, any hole you can go through. Right here, the dish opening for the fish pond is a maka. And we break down ha, ha is your breath. We're kind of putting it poetically in the fish pond, this is where the pond takes its breath in and out. <laughs> 